Now the latest on today's shakeup from a football franchise described as the model of stability. Yeah, the Steelers fired offensive coordinator Matt Canada after 10 games with a struggling offense, capped off by Sunday's 13 loss, 13-10 loss to the Cleveland Browns. Our Ethan Kibbe and John Leidick joining us now. John, where do the Steelers go from here? Well, here's the question. We'll get to that in a little bit, but here's how we got to this point today. The move is one Steelers Nation has clamored for their Ethan for quite some time. You could argue all the way back to last season. As for head coach Mike Tomlin, he said the decision was solely his to make today to get rid of this guy who's been a part of the franchise for the last three years. And uh, adding to his role, he said that, you know, he's got to protect people when he makes these decisions. Mike Tomlin does. Wasn't assigning blame on Matt Canada solely. As for the results leading to the change, the Steelers, they've ranked in the bottom five in points per game so far this season. Uh, so not a rapid and consistent improvement. Here's what the head coach had to say about today's big change. There hadn't been enough continuity in our work, certainly. It hadn't developed at the rate that I would like it to. Um, we're still showing signs of September football kind of in some instances, and, you know, that's un unacceptable, man. It's late November. So among those changes, we talked off the top how stable this franchise has been. Excuse me, First in-season change for any member of the coaching staff since 1941. They are. They're the model of stability. They're the, the model franchise. But fans, we said they'd been waiting for this. These were some of the comments we received on Facebook. Let me read you a few of these. <laughs> Thank you, Brownies. Finally did something useful. Only time that a Steelers fan has ever thanked the Browns for beating them. Santa does exist. Another one here. Christmas came early, and it's about time. And, John, that was the theme across the board. I think you'd heard that from fans since you started going to games even this season. Yeah, we heard Fire Canada chants at multiple points. We'd seen cakes about Fire Canada, but you could tell it really had boiled over in that post-game locker room when we were in there on Sunday afternoon. The Steelers making a change. Now we'll talk about coming up in later editions about what that change looks like and how they're going to divide the labor moving forward. That's the big question. We hit the streets today and asked fans what they thought, thought about this, and here's what they had to tell us. I'm yelling for him to uh, pass up the middle and uh, maybe even throw a long pass once an occasion, you know, once in a while past 12 yards anyway, because I'm kind of tired of that. Nobody goes long anymore, and obviously their receivers are getting pretty upset with it. Uh, so, again, something's got to change, and I might as well start here. I'm glad. And we'll see what it means for Kenny Pickett and company this Sunday as another AFC North showdown with the Cincinnati Bengals. For Ethan Kibbe, I'm John Lattie. We'll send it back over to the desk with Mike and Ethan.